Hello everyone, in this video we're going to see the best Codeforces tools or the best Codeforces data scraping websites. Okay, so these are the websites or the web apps which are going to be very helpful if you're using Codeforces for solving problems or participating in rated concept contests. So the first one which I've brought is Codeforces Visualizer and any of these tools you don't have to remember the URL, you can just google these tools and you'll find them. Okay, so the first one is Codeforces Visualizer. So if you just simply put your handle here, then it's going to tell you about how many problems you've solved, how many number of contests you've given, your best rank, your worst rank, and all these things, the number of tags you have done, the level of problems you have solved, how many A you have solved, how many B you have solved, and like this, how many unsolved problems you have. And it will give you a lot of uh, information about your problem solving skills or about how many problems you have solved because you need to know how many problems of each level you have solved so you can get better right and one more thing is there the compare option so in which you can compare with your friend or with someone who you like and it will tell you the comparison between them so if i just take myself and my friend then you can see the comparison how it gives the comparison if we have participated in the same rating if we have the number of contests we have given so all of this will be done in comparison the worst and best rank the timeline how many contests we have given and each for each common contest they are going to tell how many like who won and by what so you can see in one contest we both got the same rank and you will also see the tags of how many problems you each have solved in each tag so this is a great website in which you can learn about your weak areas about where you need to improve or where you're lacking okay now the next one is uh code versus dark theme okay so this is not a very essential thing but it is also something to consider because in the light mode if you keep on uh, if you keep on coding in the night then it might affect your eyes you can turn down the brightness or whatever but this is also something very cool so i've never used it on my computer but still it looks like it works correctly and some of my friends have used it so you can see the instructions you can just google code for the dark theme and you'll ultimately get this okay the next is the most important so you might have learned of a2oj ladders you may know what a2oj ladders are so this is just a dynamic a2oj so this will show you how many problems from the ladders you solved so just in case you don't know what ladders are so ladders are the problems from div 2a so we'll have 100 problems div 2b will have 100 problems div 2c likewise for each level they have 100 problems and if you solve all of those problems then you'll have a certain idea of uh, how things are so if you solve all the 100 problems in div 2c then you'll have a better idea while solving div 2c problems so this is the dynamic version of a2oj ladders which was originally made by ahmed ali so it will show you if you have solved problems or not you can just directly go to any problem and this will lead you to the code forces website and in that problem and you can submit and see and you can just directly submit and whenever you submit it will show yes if you haven't submitted it will show no so ladders are a great way of improving your skills okay now the, the next one you might already have heard of it but this is the extension of code forces rating predictor so basically if you just install it in chrome firefox or opera anywhere so during the contest it will just show you what your rating is going to be i guess at this point everyone uses code forces rating predictor because it is very very accurate and if it shows one minus 120 then it's going to be minus 120 or give or take a few rating so it's like that so this is very very accurate the next one is code drills okay so code drills is also so I'll just show you, show you how it works. So I'll just say cf slash hk underscore 21. So I'm on code share also. So I'll just do this. So you can see that it shows me my strong areas. It shows me my weak areas. And not only that, it gives me practice recommendations. So for each topic, it will give me practice problems. For warm up, it will give me problems. For daily practice, it will give me my problems. For weak topics, it will suggest problems which I should solve for easy, medium, hard, ICPC, for every topic it will suggest problems. So this is one very good website if you want to improve topic wise. If there is certain topic in which you are lacking behind or if you are like behind then you can use this to get stronger in that topic. 
Now the next one is cold force is absolver. Okay. So this one like the name suggests this helps in absolving. So if you don't know what absolving is that if you don't if you didn't solve a problem in the in the contest then you solve it afterwards and then you learn where you went wrong. Okay. So this will show you all the problems which you haven't solved and you can keep track of them and just absolve them. So it categorizes the problem like a b c or rating wise contest wise so it will show me the unsolved problems, recommended problems and how much problems I have unsolved in A, how many problems I have unsolved in B, in C, in D and like this. So this is again the best way for absolving if you want to keep everything uh, in an ordered fashion. So these are all the websites which if you use then you can improve your rating, you can improve your skills to the best. So you can check any of them out. All you have to do is just, if you want code for the visualizer, just Google it. If you want code for the dark theme, just Google it. If you want dynamic A2OJ, you can just Google it. And likewise, code for the rating predictor, code drills, such as the website, and code for the absolver. So you can get any of these web apps or websites, you can just Google it. So these are some websites or tools which are going to help you a lot if you're on code courses. So that's all, guys. Thank you.